it's an awesome experience for everyone. Um, you know, it's everyone on this team's first shot in the Final Four. So, um, you know, we've all been enjoying it and, uh, you know, soaking it all in. But um, today's been a day where we're really trying to focus up and lock in on the goal at hand. So, um, you know, yesterday was more of the fun day with the media and doing all the photo shoots. But uh, today we had a great practice right before this. Um, got our game plan in and we'll go out there on the court in a couple minutes and, and get a lot of shots up. So, um, you know, we're really dialed in and, and focused right now. Yeah, as a shooter, how does it feel shooting out there? Is it any different, or are you so locked in it doesn't matter? But it's got to affect you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the depth per, depth per session is, uh, you know, something we're not used to since there's so much uh, space in the background. But, um, you know, like I said, we're going to go out there right now and get a bunch of shots up and, uh, you know, make sure we feel comfortable um, playing out there. Joey, just the thought that there are only four teams left and you guys are one of those teams standing, what does that mean? Yeah, it's special. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's a reward for, for all the efforts that we put in all, all year long. Um, you know, lots of, lots of hours spent in the gym, you know, outside of practice even, on our own, getting up extra, extra shots, extra work. So um, just a credit to all these guys for, for working their tails off all year and, and for the coaching staff for, you know, really putting their full effort into us and, um, you know, helping us, uh, you know, be prepared for opportunities like this. So um, just, just really rewarding. At what point in the season did you feel you saw the team develop an identity, the identity that they carry now? Yeah, I mean, obviously during that, that 14 and 0 run, we started off the season, uh, you know, really well, and uh, I think we we're, we we're, we had our identity right then. Um, obviously, we lost it a little bit in January, but um, you know, we knew what our identity was and how we were going to get back there. So it was just about refocusing and, and bringing the group together in order to you know get back on the right path. And um, you know, obviously, we've done that throughout this tournament so far, and uh, you know, just feeling really good going into tomorrow's game. Have you been to Houston before? Is this your first time? Uh, I think it's my first time in Houston. I've been to other parts of Texas, um, but I think first time in Houston. Have you gotten a chance to explore? Not really. Uh, it's usually just back and forth from the gym to the hotel. So, um, you know, we've been out to dinner a couple times, but, um, you know, this is what we came here for. we got a, we got a job to take care of. How does the weather compare to California? Uh, a lot more humid, um, you know, uh, wet heat instead of dry heat, you know, but... Um, you know, it feels good if, to finally get a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of heat on my body. It's been a been a cold winter up in Connecticut. So, does Miami compare to how does Miami compare to some of the teams you face? Is there a comparison you guys are kind of drawing on? Yeah, um, lots of similarity similarities to Arkansas, um, but also a lots of uh, lots of uh, differences. Um, I think they shoot the ball a little bit better than Arkansas, and uh, have a lot of you know athletic players on on the perimeter. Um, big man down low is very strong, physical guy. So it's gonna be, it's gonna take a, a complete team effort uh, tomorrow on the um, defensive end, and then on offense, you know, it'd be fast tempoed, um, high paced game. You know, so we're gonna need to, uh, you know, just stick to what we've been doing, keep playing unselfish, and, and pushing the ball in transition.